So, so it's very interesting because the world outside of us is getting really complicated and it is screwing around big time with us and little people like us we're just saying, you know, what are we going to do about it? Can we, there's nothing to fight, you know, because when you fight you're just aim, uh, uh, going into the same consciousness that everyone else is in and Negative. that's been going on for thousands of years. Everybody has been hurt, everybody's been abused, everybody's losses. You come back over and over again to uh, uh, learn more about how to live uh, together uh, peacefully because we're one entity. Although Justin and I look like two different people and we might be related, we're really one being. And uh, all the people out there, you're all part of us and we're all part of you. So once you understand that and see that collective field and have that experience, uh, it's very hard to. Um, break through to the other states of consciousness. And so I would say if I had to give uh, one uh, um, key thing, uh, as well as meditating, like you said, and opening up uh, your uh, Kundalini and your energy system, is to, uh, you need those emotions, and they're teaching you where you need to, what you need to learn and where you need to go, is to learn to manage your state. When you learn to manage your state, your consciousness opens up to other states, and then you're able to be able to give and receive more of what you're really supposed to be doing here. Um, right. And in, uh, in Kung Fu school when I was younger, uh, on our uh, school flag, it was Wu Ji. And what that means is, it's the fire, the sign for the Chinese sign for fire, but upside down, and that represents control. So what she's really saying is you want to be able to control your emotional state. So when you get a certain feeling, you don't nurture your ego or do something you're going to regret, but, you know, total control of it to just, you know, snap your fingers and be like, I'm going to choose to, you know, flow like water today instead of, you know, being against this or that. I'm just going to go along with it and I'm going to feel good. That's really the key ingredient. You want to feel good because when you actually feel good, you're going to manifest good stuff. But we're human beings. So every day, including us, we don't always feel good. But when we realize that, we could easily change our emotions and think of something happy or, you know, alter our state of mind. But I could think of my dog who I love, you know. <laughs> Gohan and all of a sudden I'm thinking of love and compassion or I could think of my girlfriend there's really key trigger points that you could use to really turn off the negativity and the ego and that's why you want to start just paying attention to your emotion because you don't want your emotions to control you you're a human being and you want your consciousness to be able to control your mind you don't want your mind to be able to control you because that's where all the negativity and right and that's how consciousness learns through that experience so uh like you know put your hand in the fire fire burns you take learn. your hand out that's so uh we're not a program we're a work in progress and so uh as we see all oh, these emotional states while wow, they feel bad most people want to suppress them you know and when they suppress them they look outside of themselves and say oh yeah you know those people over there they drive me crazy you know they they're always making noise or they're always uh, shooting bombs or whatever they're doing uh, that, uh, uh, you know, that you don't like and uh, that irritates you. And actually um, what it is is there to show you that that's the, that's the opportunity to learn your challenge. There's where school begins for you right there. So you start digging up and Justin knows uh, I'll go up in my room, you know, so many times and I'll be like, okay. All right, what's this going on? And it's always usually about myself. Uh, uh, it is mirroring something that's going on in something else, you know. So I have to uh, work on, uh, you know, I have a business venture going on or something, and uh, I feel like, uh, you know, I'm feeling manipulated or controlled by, uh, you know, powers that be that are beyond uh, 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 my understanding or, you know. And so then I just got to go back into the space of, taking charge and um, once that happens there is an automatic thing that shows up uh, that brings you to a place where you have an understanding and it's not so much of the other things that are going on around you because uh, you know that's not so important it's about understanding about your own 
uh, mind and your ego and your own state. Uh, and that's pretty much how it evolves. I mean, I, I wish it were, you know, I always thought things were magical, mystical, and worked in, uh, 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 you know, sort of, uh, you know, God comes down and points his finger and you're good, you're, you're this, you're that. You know, uh, these are the, uh, you know, there's, there's been holy wars and there's been people fighting, uh, and it's all the same thing. It's uh, consciousness is a field of, um, uh, of the wholeness of us, and it's all about love, and it's trying to bring unity and understanding so that we can grow and have uh, an awareness of the wholeness of and the individual. So the, uh, the uh, wave and the particle, right now I'm the particle, when I'm meditating I become the wave of everything. And so when you have that into balance, you'll be able to grow and learn and become a better uh, being and um, who knows, evolve into the, they're saying uh, the fourth and fifth and other dimensions right. where we can come become beings that are actually doing uh, uh, light work for the universe, you know. And, and so that's when you get into the ETs, why some of these ETs are so uh, um, uh, committed to uh, being there for us and wanting us to make it because we are whole, but they can't interfere because we have to learn to our free will. Because yeah. yeah. that's the only way we're going to learn. Uh, just think of children. Somehow, you know, you have to, uh, you know, give them the little reins, uh, uh, give them enough rope to experience for themselves because uh, if you're constantly controlling and you know doing everything for them uh, they grow up to be very uh, immature and they don't know how to relate to other people and uh, they don't know how to think for themselves so uh, it's sort of like we're uh, uh, children in this thing and we're growing and we're all part of the uh, collective uh, higher intelligence that moves us in ways that we don't know our hearts pumping or you know, uh, everything's going on in our body, uh, what's doing it? You know, we're not thinking about it, it's moving on its own, you know. Uh, it's going through that higher intelligence. Uh, and so um, it's just the ego mind that kind of gets in the way of things, uh, seeing things correctly. It wants to see things in black and white, you know. This is good and bad, duality. Uh, and, and then you can change your whole course of existence. And I think that's where I think we're all moving in this new transformation of consciousness, is everyone's going to be experiencing this one way or another. Unfortunately, it usually happens after you put your hand in the fire and you get burnt. <laughs> right. And so what we're so. studying, a lot, a lot of great people. Right.